welcome back to BusyBots for another 3D printing demonstration video. Well, today I'm going to investigate uh, 3D printing glasses. I went to the optometrist the other day and I was walking around looking at the frames and I thought, let's see what I can 3D print. Let's take a look. So today I'm going to walk you through going to Thingiverse, taking a look at different designs for some glasses. We'll download one, run it through Slicer, print it, and put it together. And just for those of you that can't wait to see, uh, this, is what, this is what we come up with. Uh, the, the frames are printed in, in three pieces, the frames themselves and then the, um, the two ear pieces and the hinges are a piece of 1.75 millimeter ABS filament. And they work great, of course there's no lenses, but as far as proof of concept, I'm pretty impressed for a uh, few minutes uh, download and a few minutes printing and there's some glasses. So let's go take a look. You could design your own glasses frames in a 3D package. 3D software package, but today we'll be going to Thingiverse and seeing what they have there. So here we are at Thingiverse.com. Let's do a search for glasses. And we get a number of designs, very interesting. We've got disapproval glasses, shamrock glasses, some 3D glasses, and uh, six or more pages of glasses. And let's see, the ones that I, I've uh, selected to print that I showed you earlier are these, the D and G 3D glasses frames by Minting Mill. So let's take a look there. And what's nice about these is they, they print in two separate parts. The glasses frames themselves, um, which is nice because that way we can print these nice strong hinges without trying to print it all in one piece. And the uh, earpieces. And I did have to do a little sanding to get them to work well. And then in those holes there, uh, I put a piece of uh, ABS filament, 1.75 millimeter, and that's it. So let's go ahead and download our STL files, and then we'll run them through Slicer, and today we'll be printing on the Mendel mats. Okay, be back in a second, and we'll take a look at Slicer. Here we are, we have our two downloaded STL files, and I'll be dragging them on top of the uh, Slicer slicing software. There we go. And uh, this is not meant to be a tutorial on Slicer, but I do have various settings configured with what I feel are the best settings for this type of print. I've measured my filament to be 2.9 millimeters. And we will export our G code. These are the, the two pieces. We'll export the G code. And there we go. Doesn't take very long at all. I'll let it sit in real time so you can get an idea of the speed. And then we'll open up the G code in Pronter Face and do our printing. The next step is to take the G code that we generated and send it to the printer. And for that, we'll be using a piece of software called Printer Interface, also known as Pronter Face. So let's open up the G code we just created. Here it is. It'll load in. You can see here the, uh, the frames and the two ear pieces. Uh, we get various figures as far as the size and how long and how long it'll take. And this is an estimate. And from here, we'll hit print. Here's our finished pair of ultra stylish 3D printed glasses. You can see the shiny, the shiny side is the side that was printed down, and the side that was facing up is a little more dull. And I'll let you see the hinges. You can see the hinge mechanism there. They work just like regular glasses. They fold up nicely. And here's a set. This is the glasses put together, and here's a set of the pieces that you would need to put them together. So thanks for watching. If you have any questions, leave a comment. If you liked the video, I'd appreciate a thumbs up, and I hope to see you again real soon.